Hello everyone, Mr. Merkic here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple PHP proxy scraper using a little bit of rejects to take the proxies that we want. Uh, now what we're going to do is I'm just going to code it in the PHP Fiddle website just because it's easier for me uh, in the tutorial. And also I've got two different sites here to show you two different ways of doing it because not every site which shows proxies uh, is the same. So you can see here, this is an easier website. They display the proxy or the IP in the port altogether. So that, that is easy for us to take just like that. Now, a website like this is a little bit tricky because it, it shows the IP and the port separately in different portions of the table. It's not a problem though. We can still uh, take this and uh, scrape it. Uh, so first of all, we'll start with the easier one. All we want to do is we just want to get the page source first of all. So we'll just say page is equal to file get contents and we'll just paste this URL in. Uh, just like that. And what's happened there? Just paste that in like so. Now once we've got that page source, uh, we obviously want to take from it. So if we view it, you can see that the proxies are actually all in one. Sometimes some websites use JavaScript to load it in so you can't scrape it or sometimes they decode it and encode it things like that but you can notice that and once you've picked up all those different things you can actually essentially scrape most websites if you really are dedicated to doing that. Um, but This one's easy for us so what we can do is literally we're going to use a basic bit of reject to take a proxy match from the site and we're going to use preg uh, well, well you can use preg match but that will just find a match or we can use preg match all and that's going to find them all and then the simple uh, we'll do the rejects in a bit so we want to take we want to match from the page and we want to add that to something called matches and that matches will be like an array which we can use after uh, to decide what we want to do with all the matches uh, so for the rejects now of course you want to start an end of a, a forward slash and inside here it's pretty simple actually we're just going to match a number from 0 to 9 any number and we want uh, a match between 1 and 3 digits uh, and that is because obviously an IP can vary it can vary from one number to 2 to 3 uh, between each part of the between each dot in the IP and actually IPs maximize is at like 255 so you might not want the 0 to 9 you might just want 0 to 5 just like that just to make sure you don't match anything that you shouldn't be but obviously you're on proxy websites so it's only going to be proxies there anyway so you should be good uh, so first of all what we're going to do is we'll just copy that because what we're going to have is a backslash and a dot to escape that character and we're going to have that again and then we'll do it once more and have it again and then what we'll do is we'll have it one more time just like that and then obviously we need the little semicolon to to have the port after and for the port it's sort of the same we'll just have 0 to 9 again but this time instead of 1 to 3 matches we just want 1 to 5 because the port can go up to 5 numbers and that is it for the simple proxy thing and the reason I got this reject site up is because uh, just to explain, so if we take this source and we copy, let's say, a few lines and we chuck that into this rejects website. Now, if we take our exp expression and chuck it in there, you can see that we've got 11 matches and it, sh it highlights all the matches. You can see it's highlighting all of the proxies or all of the important parts that we want to take from the website. Uh, now, this website's good because you can hover the you can hover the expressions and it tells you what everything does and things like that. So it's a pretty nice little website to use actually if you're doing something like this. So you can see the expressions working; it's getting all the stuff we need. So now what we can do, uh, I'll just show you this. We can just print R and we'll just dump we'll dump the matches array and we'll see what's inside of there. So if we do that, you can see it's got 24 bits in the array and it's got it's basically 24 IPs there for us so now we want to access them uh, you can see that it's an array inside the first array so to access that we're going to need to use matches 0 to go inside the first one 
um, just like so. So if you just want to print them all, we'll use a simple for each statement and we'll say for each matches and we need to use the first element remember as a match so for each match we're just going to print it so we'll just echo the match and what we'll do is we'll print a, a little break line tag so they're all in a different line and we'll press run and now you can see that all the proxies are printed line by line for us just like that so you could easily go in and copy them all if you wanted to and that's the way to print them one by one uh, what you can do with that actually is turn so you have your PHP file on the server you can now create a program which would connect to this PHP file and read all of these proxies line by line and then you've got a proxy scraper inside a program so it's as simple as that so that's it for one website let's say you also wanted to just get a random one uh, if you just wanted to get the first one let's say you could echo the matches first element and then take the first element within that one and we should be left with one that's the first proxy on the page uh, or you can take one at complete random uh, using the same sort of thing matches zero but then we'll use a function called array underscore rand which, which will pick a random one for us and then all we need to say in here is pick a random one from our matches array just like that and if we hit go see we've got a random array we can hit go again you see we've got a different proxy and each time it will give us a different proxy uh, and that's how you'd create a random array now this page doesn't have many on it you can find websites uh, of your choice maybe with more or less um, it's entirely up to you so what we do is I'll before I go I'll quickly show you how to do a more complicated one if we view this source you can see here, here's the IP and there's the port so all that's in the way for us really is this two, these two TD tags uh, it's not really that difficult what we'll do is we'll just do the same sort of thing we'll just copy that copy part of the source let's say to there we'll paste it into this rejects website now you can see our, our script now doesn't actually work uh, what we need to do is take away the semicolon because that's no longer lead, needed and you can see that we have um, and matches on the IP but not the port so we can literally just add in the TD tags like that and we need to escape that forward slash and then have the following TD tags now what you can see is we're getting matches on every single one but now our matches are going to contain the TD so what we can do is if we just copy this part of the expression in just like that uh, all we need to do is we'll, we'll actually comment this line out if we were to print or dump that array again and you'll see this time oh it's actually blank uh, what did I do wrong I'm using the wrong website aren't I like, a, like an idiot put the website we're switched to now we should see that we've got a whole load of IPs now um, because this website prints HTML you won't actually see the tag there because it's been printed on this page but there is a tag there all we want to do is we can use a simple for each statement again for each matches uh, as a match and actually what we want to do is have the first element there again we can echo, uh, we'll say str underscore replace, and we want to replace the td tag, the td tags, with a semicolon, and that will be where the separator will be, and we want to do that on each match, and then print a line break just like so. Now what we should see is a list of all the proxies now separated with the correct semicolon in the correct place and now you see this website's got a huge list of IPs for us uh, so that is how you make it uh, for a little bit different websites let's say now for me this isn't really that difficult it's only a simple little TD tag in between but some websites are a little bit difficult 
Um, again, all you need to do is improvise a little bit and change up your code for each website and you can essentially take all the proxies you want. Uh, so I hope this video did help you. Uh, if you did like it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time.